What is femoral head and neck ostectomy? What are the things that you need to understand? Questions that you forgot to ask your veterinarian. We will try and answer most of them because I know some of you are anxious. So if you want to learn more, stick around. Because today, we are going to talk about the procedure that is femoral head and neck ostectomy. What's up guys? My name is Doc Fritz Resho. I'm an animal doctor and every week we post videos, cases, topics, and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. But before we proceed, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get updated for whenever we post new videos in our YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Doc Fritz Animal Wellness Center, and try to look for us in Instagram, Doc Fritz Animal Wellness Center, and my personal Instagram, Fritz Resho. On with our topic for today, what is FHO? FHO, or femoral head and necostectomy, is a surgical procedure that aims to restore pain-free mobility to a deceased or damaged hip by removing the head and the neck of the femur. It is the long leg bone or thigh bone. This is the acetabulum. This is the head and neck. So, dapat pasok yan, eh, no? So, it's a, it's a ball and socket type of joint, no? The normal joint is a ball and socket joint. The acetabulum, which is a part of the pelvis, composes the socket of the joint. The head of the femur is a projection from the long bone located between the hips and the knee composes the ball that fits within the socket. So, ganyan niya. Pasok siya. Ito yung nasa hips natin. No? The head of the femur fits within the acetabulum, allowing the hips to move freely in all directions. But, when the hip becomes damaged or diseased, however, this mobility can be affected. If the acetabulum and the head of the femur do not fit together properly, this poor fit can influence the degree of movement that the joint can achieve. In addition, this poor joint fit can lead to chronic pain and inflammation. Masakit yan kasi ang nagtatama na is bone to bone. No? Wala na yung joint. No? An FHO or femoral head and neck ostectomy restores the mobility to the hip by removing the head of the femur. Yes, you heard it right. Tatanggalin natin yung head ng femur. This removes the ball of the ball and socket joint, leaving an empty socket. So, imagine mo, ito yung acetabulum, ito yung socket, ito yung ball. No? So, tatanggalin natin dito. So, mawawala na itong ball, joint na lang, magkakaroon ng pseudo joint. The muscles of the leg will initially hold the femur in place and over time, a scar tissue will form between the acetabulum and the femur to provide cushioning that is referred to as false joint. Magkakaroon tayo ng false joint dyan. So, ito yung acetabulum, ito yung femur. Tinanggal natin, wala nang nagdidikit, but magkakaroon ng false joint, no? Which is composed of the muscles, yung tissues around it, no? Ayun ang magkakaroon ng false joint. Although, this joint is anatomically very different from a normal hip joint, it provides pain-free mobility in most patients. Kasi nga, wala na yung nakikis-kis ang buto. So, sino ba yung good candidate for FHO? This procedure is primarily recommended for small dogs. Yung mga maliliit na aso lang, under approximately 50 pounds. So, that's around mga 25 kilograms. Pababa. At sa mga pusa, especially those who are in uh, healthy weight, no? Yung hindi obese, especially sa mga cats, no? The false joint kasi that is created in an FHO works very well to support the weight of animals but may be less effective in large breed dogs kasi nga, large breed dogs, they're heavier and the pressure on that false joint will be greater. 
But there are exceptions. However, and veterinarians may sometimes recommend an FHO even for a dog over 50 pounds. Kahit malaki, pwede. May mga specifics no, that the, the case will dictate that doing so would be appropriate. Ano yung, ano yung mga yan? Yung active dogs. Active dogs often experience better results with FHO than less active dogs. Bakit? Yung ibang aso na active na sila before palang gawin yung FHO. Kasi maganda na yung development ng muscles doon. So yung false joint is already prepared. Maga, nandun na sa si area. The muscle mass that has been built up through activity helps to stabilize the joint, allowing the dog to regain pain-free mobility more quickly than inactive pets. Inactive pets kasi, yung mga inactive dogs, have less muscle. Yung kulang yung muscle mass nila dun around that joint, making the joint less stable post-operatively and leading to longer recovery times. Pero pwede naman kung halimbawa, wala na tayong choice, hindi active yung aso, tapos kailangan natin gawin yung FHO, pwede namang i-rehab kasi after the procedure and muscles can be, as we know, be developed and strengthened through exercise. Pero bakit nga ba ginagawa yung FHO in the beginning? Why is an FHO performed? The primary goal of an FHO is to remove bone-on-bone -bone contact, yung buto sa buto na pagdidikitan. Masakit yan. So, ginagawa natin yung FHO to restore pain-free mobility. The most common reasons for FHO include Number one, fractures involving the hip. Pag meron kasi tayong fractures involving the hip, nasisira na yung buto, pati yung conformation on that area, nakakaroon na ng bone to bone. Nasisira na yung joint. No? When a uh, fracture involves the hip joint and cannot be repaired surgically, either due to patient consideration or financial consideration of the owner, FHO na will provide the best option for pain-free mobility. Ang pinakamadalas na dinadala sa clinic natin sa, for the procedure of FHO is hip luxation or dislocation associated with usually trauma or severe hip dysplasia, no? which is, uh, will be reserved for next topic. No? In cases, a hip that is out of socket cannot be replaced with manipulation or under, under medical means. Surgical repair of hip luxations can be costly and is not always successful. So, many dog owners elect FHO for small dogs with hip luxation. Meron sa ibang bansa, ginagawa natin yung uh, hip repair or you know repair of uh, luxation na, na joint can be done, but the success rate is very low. No? Isa pa, severe arthritis of the hip. Yung chronic end-stage arthritis, yung cartilage that protects. Kasi yung cartilage that protects both the head of the femur and the acetabulum can become eroded away. Sa katandaan, no? leading to a painful bone-on-bone -bone grating whenever a hip is moved. So, imagine mo kung ito yung, ito yung joint. Sa katandaan, nawawala na yung cartilage na nandiyan sa paligid. So, ang natitira na lang, buto sa buto sa pagdidikit. Ang nagdidikit, masakit yan. No? So, ini-elect na rin natin dyan ang femoral head and neck astectomy. Performing an FHO can remove this point of contact and primarily, the reason for doing this is to alleviate pain. Isa pa, which is not so common, but we another reason why we perform femoral head and neck astectomy. Ayan yung leg per test disease, also known as the avascular necrosis of the femoral head. This uncommon condition, most frequently seen in miniature and toy breeds. Nakikita natin yan sa mga Pomeranian, some in Shih Tzu. No? I've seen several cases of this, but mostly sa mga Pomeranian. No? It causes the bone within the femoral head to begin to die. Namamatay yung femoral head at an early age because of an autoimmune problem. The bone collapses due to this degenerative changes, which leads to severe Pain. Napakasakit din yan. So, anong gagawin natin? Removing the femoral head via FHO removes the source of pain for the dog. What can we all expect on the day of the surgery? 
Yung surgery na to, this surgery is performed under general anesthesia. Tulog naman yung aso, kaya huwag kayong mag-alala. In most situations, you will take your dog to the veterinary clinic early in the morning on the day of the surgery. Your veterinarian will likely instruct you to withhold food the morning of the surgery to prevent vomiting that may occur under anesthesia. But, syempre, before scheduling surgery, kailangan nagawa natin yung ating blood test and uh, yung pre-op examination para malaman natin if your dog is fit for uh, anesthesia. There you go. There's a tiny neck. That's why you don't have the femur. So you need to remove it. The next one is to flatten natin yung surface para walang bone to bone. After surgery, your dog will remain in the hospital several days depending on the specific circumstances of his health and his surgery. Siyempre, kailangan natin ilagay mo na siya sa cage. Pagalingin yung sugat. Lagay yun ng cone. No? So, when you pick him up from the hospital, your dog probably will not be bearing any weight on the leg that had the surgery. So magtatanong kayo, Dok, pinooperahan ko na. Bakit hindi pa niya ginagamit yung leg? Bakit parang in pain pa rin siya? And you will also see an incision. Uh, it's very visible in the area of the hips. May makikita kayong malaking hiwa doon. And this incision may or may not have visible external sutures. Kasi minsan ang ginagawa ko, Binabaon ko yung sutures para wala kayong makikita sa labas. Some veterinarians use dissolving sutures that are placed under the skin. Your dog will likely be wearing an e-collar or Elizabethan collar or yung cone of shame that uh, others would like to call it. This is to prevent leaking at the surgical site, not to shame your dog. No? This is very important yung kailangan hindi mo ililimit natin yung movement. So, first few days after the surgery, Nakakulong yung aso natin or nasa clinic for the vet to watch out for dehiscence, for bleeding, for extreme pain. And, you know, ang pinaka most painful is the first three days, right? So, how do I care for my dog? So, nakauwi na. So, ngayon, uuwi na natin sa bahay. Ang question ngayon is how do I care for my dog after FHO surgery? So, care varies based on the needs of the specific patient. But in general, the post-operative recovery can be divided in two phases. Yung first phase, in the first several days post-op, your dog will be healing from the surgical procedure. Because kasi nga, yung bones and muscles are cut. Ginupit natin yan eh. Uh, at pinutol yung ibang parte ng, ng uh, buto doon. So during this period, the focus during this period will be on pain control. Kasi nga, Ito yung time na napakasakit nung area na yun. Kaya may isasama for sure yung veterinary nyo na pain meds. No? Please give all medications as prescribed by your veterinarian. Moist heat may also be recommended during this period to provide comfort and decrease stiffness. Your veterinarian may recommend activity restriction during the first several days post-operatively. Hindi mo siya pwede patakbuhin agad. At saka paglaruin agad, if this is the case, confine your dog to a crate or a small room within the house. So, kailangan meron tayong lugar sa kanya na pagtataguan to limit the movement. Hindi natin siya pwedeng patakbuhin or palabasin ka agad. No? Kung I'm sure some of you, yung, hindi sanay yung aso nila na ikulong sa loob ng kulungan, lag lagay sa loob ng cage. That's okay. Just a place where the movement will be limited, okay na okay na yun. No? So if this is the case, confine your dog to a crate or a small room within the house with only very brief leash walks outside to eliminate. Kapag magpupup, iihi, dudumi lang siya. No? If your dog will tolerate it, you can attempt passive range of motion exercises during this period. Pwede nyo stretch and flex, stretch and, you know, you can do it as long as your dog will allow it. Now, kung if it's painful, do not. Kasi nga, masakit pa itong, uh, itong period na ito. Eh. So, gently moving their hips forward and backward through its range of motion will, uh, you know, should it be for, if it's causing pain, wag mong gawin. No? 
Walking should be slow in order to encourage your dog to bear weight on the affected leg. No? So, pwede mo palakarin, pero huwag mo patakbuhin. Mabaga lang. Kasi ang, the, the goal here is to start exercising the affected uh, joint or the affected muscles para mag-circulate na yung dugo doon sa area na yun. No? Your veterinary will likely recommend introducing more physical activity approximately one week after the surgery. Kasi during this phase of recovery, the focus shifts to rebuilding muscle mass and strength. Keeping your dog mobile will help keep the scar tissue within the false joint from forming too tightly. Kasi kapag pinabayaan natin yan, the scar tissue will develop, magiging stiff yung joint, yung false joint na magpo-form dun sa area. So to prevent that, kailangan na natin siyang i-exercise one week after. Allowing your dog to remain flexible. Good exercises during this time period include walking, especially up flights of stairs, and holding the front portion of your dog's body in the air while allowing them to walk. Bubuhati mo yung taas. Hahawakan mo yung itaas ng kanyang uh, yung, yung four legs niya. Tapos, papalakarin mo yung likod para ma-force silang maglakad. No? And, Ang pinakumaliit na mga aso lang naman, no? you, can, you can actually stimulate them walking. Kung maliit na aso na, you can actually stimulate the walking or movement of, of the legs by using water. Timba, lagyan nyo na sa sulbabida and then make, they will, by, by nature, they will start you know, uh, moving their hind limbs. Ano yan eh, parang, uh, parang knee-jerk reaction, no? In the first 30 days after surgery, it is important to avoid rough play or any activity that encourages sudden twists and turns. These high-impact motions will slow the healing that is occurring within the joint and muscles. Most dogs will show signs of complete recovery approximately 6 weeks post-op. Isat kalahating buwan post-op. At this point, your dog can now resume his regular activities. Yung healing will be more rapid in dogs that have normal function of the uh, hips up until shortly before the FHO. For example, yung mga, in the cases the dogs na uh, sudden yung injury, yung, yung, yung procedure, no? Or halimbawa na accidente, traumatic injury oh, to the hip. However, mabagal naman yung healing kapag or long-standing or chronic issues yung cases. In the case of, halimbawa, na meron tayong uh, or osteoarthritis, no? kung ganyan yung mga cases. Kasi on these times or in these uh, conditions, nagkakaroon ng atrophy which takes time to resolve. If your dog is not showing significant improvement by six weeks post-op, you may want to consider a formal rehabilitation or physical therapy program. As your veterinarian for recommendations if your dog is still having difficulties at or after six weeks. So what is usually the prognosis? And the prognosis after FHO surgery. So most dogs recover fully after FHO surgery and regain essentially normal function of the affected leg. Although the leg may have a slightly decreased range of motion or decreased limb length after surgery, these impacts are typically minimal and do not impact the pet's quality of life. That's it! So if you have questions, please use the comment section below and I will try my very best to answer them. If you want to see me personally for a consult, you can visit any of our three clinics and we can make an arrangement for you. Numbers will be posted here. Yeah. Or you can see any of our very competent veterinarians in any of our Dockford's Animal Wellness Centers sa Timog Nyan, UP Town, and North Edsa. For those of you living near Silang, Cavite, we have a clinic there called Bags and Whiskers, so try to check them out. Lastly, please visit our other videos too. Baka you can learn from them too or i-share nyo na lang sa mga, sa mga friends nyo. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Dockford Slesho. See you again next week.